Hi guys, in this video we're going to look at why sound is an effective form of communication. And that's all we're going to talk about. Uh, so, sound is useful for a number of reasons. Uh, the first one being that there's a huge number of different sounds that can be made in different circumstances. So these can change uh, the loudness, the pitch, uh, how long a message goes for. Uh, so all of these sort of things uh, can be changed, allowing for this huge diversity of sounds. Uh, so just to have a look at a couple of examples, we've got a bat here. Bats uh, can actually produce supersonic sound, so sound at frequencies much higher than humans are able to hear. And they use this for echolocation. Uh, grasshoppers use stridulation, so very high-pitched uh, sounds to communicate with each other, while whales, on the other hand, uh, make noises that are much lower in frequency and can travel many, many kilometers through the water. As I said, it can travel through the water, it can travel through the air, it can even travel through solids. So sound is a good way uh, to communicate. And you don't have to be standing in front of the person or even have, uh, or animal, or even have an eyesight view on the person or a clear view between you and them. Um, so for this reason, sound can be used to communicate in the dark of night where you can't see what's around you. Uh, it can bend around corners or around objects, um, and hence you don't need to be in that line of sight. And it also provides directional information. So not only uh, can you get the message from someone or something trying to communicate with you, uh, but you can also get the direction that that uh, message is coming from. And it can travel over long distances. Um, and as I said before, whales are a perfect example of this. Um, their low frequency sounds uh, can travel many kilometers. And I think it's like 100 kilometers or something like that. Um, so very, very long distance through the water, farther than anybody would be able to see. In this video, we've talked about sound and how it is a useful form of communication for a number of reasons including the large amount of different sounds that can be made uh, not being have no not having to see the person or uh, animal that is producing the sound and traveling over long distances especially in denser mediums thanks for watching guys peace out